three, two, one. Welcome back to Bean Gaming. I have the stats for you. Absolutely, that's what we're going to go over today because you want to know what map to grind for whatever you're looking for. I got it for you today. And I know other YouTubers have done content on this before, but there's one thing that I have that they don't have and they will never have. And that's why I can give you the most accurate information to date. You know what that is? It's the Bean Gaming Spreadsheet of Hope. Right now, in the comments down below, go ahead and type in Bean Gaming Spreadsheet of Hope because you know that's what we're going to do. So let me get my spreadsheet up and we can talk about what map you need to grind for whatever rewards you're looking for. Here we go. We're just going to get right down to business. I don't want to take up more of your time than I have to. You know you want the information right away, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And if you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that I've gone over some of these stats, but I've never put them all together on one sheet so that's what we have here now take a look if you're someone that's just grinding coins then it's got to be game 5-2 if you have that OP team it's game 5-2 of course now if you're someone who has an okay team is a pretty good team then you want to try doing games 4-6 and 4-1 now of course keep in mind that specifically for coins You've got to do the boosted maps for sure. It's a 2.5x coin boost, and that's exactly where you want to go. So if it turns out to be a boost on 5, 2, 4, 6, 4, 1, those are the most efficient maps. But check out the boosted map as well, because those might give you more rewards, more coins, than at these games right here. Now, if it's the 5, 2, or 4, 6, or 4, 1 are boosted, you've got to go there. That's a home run every single time. Plus, the Fridays, when they give the 2x boost, it's also a coin boost as well. So take Take advantage of the 2x coin boost on Friday, the boosted map, combine those together, and you throw on top of it these three games, I mean, look out. When I did it last Friday, I, the one game I ended up making 5,200 coins, which is absolutely insane. You're someone that wants to grind souls? Souls can be obtained 5 2 4 6 4 one as well. Keep that in mind. Now, the big one, the presents. We have the Exclusive Presence, the Endless Presence, and the Corrupted Presence. The Corrupted Presence are a hot commodity right now. So what map should you be playing? Well, not necessarily a map per se. You want to go Endless. And it's a toss-up between Endless 5 and Endless 4 due to the time constraints on there. So I know Endless 5 is quite challenging. So if you're someone that cannot do Endless 5, then you definitely want to go Endless 4, if at all possible. Just work your way up. You want to keep playing these games, get more towers, better towers, and eventually you want to get to Endless 4 and Endless 5. If you're looking to do just regular maps, then 5-2 is going to be the way to go. But because the bosses spawn every so often much quicker than it is playing a game of 5-2 and then exiting the game, going back on it and restarting it, then I'm pretty sure Endless 5 is the way you want to grind those Corrupted Presents. Again, because they're coming at you faster than normal. I'm going to go over the stats for the Endless games in just a moment. Now, for the materials, I did this already, but I drilled it down even more. If you're looking for pizza, Game 1-1 is going to be the fastest, and then Agony is going to be 5-2. That's the fastest map in any of the games at all possible. Now, of course, it obviously, it does depend on your team, okay? So you really want to try and time these things on your own because I've used mid, well, I've used pretty good teams all the way to amazing teams for the timing. And I've always found that 5-2 uh, is going to work out the best for me. But again, if 5-2 is unobtainable for you, then 4-6 and 4-1. Get those teams out and just grind those two maps. The Golden Locks and the Crying Souls. You want to go game two for those, but to be perfectly transparent, I have not timed any of those maps just yet. I probably should go back and do that. But typically, 2-1 is probably the way you're going to want to go, but there might be another map inside there that's actually faster. So that's something you're going to have to time. I'll eventually get to there, and I'll let you know in a future video. Flashlights, it's got to be 5-2. Of course, you can do 4-6 or 4-1, but for me, 5-2 works out the absolute fastest. Fastest. Old TV, same thing. It's game three. I'll have to time all of those maps for you and let you know what the times, uh, what the time most efficient map is going to be. And then Eternal Glass, four six and four one. That's what you really want to grind. And just for a little bit of perspective, these are the two teams that I ran with for either Endless or for any of the maps. 
if you're running the maps and you don't have enough money to start, so 4,000 is probably going to be a good amount to start with. If it's anything less than 4,000, then 750, the phone guy, is going to be a really good starter. Uh, the phone guy actually is the best starter in the game in my opinion. And then we have the low bit here. I'm going to bring him on Endless because he actually is a better tower than Phone Guy. And I do have Vengeance on it and it is a shiny as well. I am borrowing this, so thank you to the person who let me borrow that. Don't know if he wants to be named or a shout out. I'll maybe check that out later. But again, at the same time, this Vengeance low bit is going to be really good. But it's 2,500 Robux. I just, I don't know if it's worth it for there. You can bring a Phone Guy instead because Phone Guy is easier probably to obtain, although Phone Guy is gone. So I don't know. I, I'm not overly sure about that. Now, you could swap out maybe your your Valkyrie Prime and put in the Mendo. Mendo is insane. I mean, you know it's a boss killer. So you can play around with the teams. Just put your best team out there and see what you get. Now, let's head on over to a different spreadsheet here. Let's specifically take a look at Game 4 Endless Mode. I've run all the stats for you, and this is according to the team that I brought right over here. The Lobit, Vengeance Shiny Lobit. Again, a phone guy would do just as well. Not as, not as good, but it's still really good. But anyway, take a look. Game 4, we get $4,000 to start. And these are the time trials that I did for every wave of 10. And I ran it two times. Of course, for statistical significance, we want to run probably hundreds of these games. I don't have that time to do that. So I'm only going off of two endless games. And you can see, and I'll, and I'll scroll down a little bit so you can see what the rewards I want are and you can compare them. But it's probably a pretty decent idea because the coins and the souls are going to be the exact same. And I did this on hell mode as well. Now with hell mode, you're getting three to four souls guaranteed and you have a 0.5% chance of getting a corrupted present and you have a 2% chance of getting an agony. But look at these, look at these line items here for wave 10 to get to wave 10 and beat wave 10. I'm sorry, just to get to wave 10, took me 1 minute and 3 seconds. That's really fast. All the way down to wave 100, wave 100 was 11 minutes and 27 seconds. That's actually really, really good compared to other games. I mean, you're actually, you're actually flying. Now, keep in mind, I did have auto skip on. If you're someone that needs to have auto skip off, your time is going to be more than this, but it's still going to be much more efficient than Endless Game 5. But at the same time, you're getting more endless souls, or you're, I'm sorry, you're getting more souls from game five, but it's the timing that's gonna be a little bit off from game four to game five, because even though 10 waves in game four is a minute and three seconds, if I scroll on over and take a look at game five, game five is a minute and one second. So game five is actually a little bit quicker to start. But if you head on down, let's just take a look at wave 50. Wave 50 got me 5 minutes and 15 seconds for Endless 4. But if you head on over to Endless Game 5, notice that those 50 waves took me 6 minutes and 36 seconds. So that's why we need these time trials here with the coins per minute, with the exclusive presence per minute, for the Endless Presence per minute and the Souls per minute here. Because after so many waves then the efficiency starts to drop off. So wave or game four, you can probably get away with going to wave 100 because you're guaranteed an additional exclusive present. If we keep scrolling on down here, I do have the waves all set up. So after wave 10, this first this first group of, of, of rows here, they do line up with each other. Or however, the time is not the exact same. Let me go ahead and turn my web camera off for a moment here. That way we may be able to see these a little bit clearer. So look, 350 coins for the first 10 waves and 4 souls, where we get 400 coins and 5 souls for for Endless Game 5. And I was lucky enough to get, a, to get an Endless present on the second game that I played for Endless Game 5. But keep scrolling on down here, and eventually, when we get to Wave 100, which is towards the bottom, here it is. Here is Wave 100. This group right here, this is Wave 100. So you're at a difference of 500 so 500 coins. Not too bad. Of course, we do get the reward after Wave 100, beating Wave 100. But look at the souls difference. 40 to 50. Again, this is on Nightmare Mode, or Hell Mode, rather. And then with the Endless 4, I end up getting 3 and 4 exclusive gifts. With Endless Game 5, I end up getting 4 presents and 6 presents. 
So, I mean, you're, you're betting against the odds here on what you want to do. In my time trials, to get to wave 100 for Endless Game 4, it took me 11 minutes and 27 seconds. Where on Endless Game 5, it took me 14 minutes and 50 seconds. So if you're talking efficiency purposes, then Game Endless 4 is the way you want to go here. But if you're talking about probably getting better, getting the same or better Endless Presence, these, I'm sorry, these exclusive presents here, then you probably want to play Endless Game 5. So again, it really depends on the team that you're bringing along here. Just to show you again, when I played Game 4 and Game 5, these are all the times that I ended up earning. With Game 4, I ended up getting a minute and 29 seconds, and this is with Phone Guy, by the way, on my, on my team as a starter. And then Game 5, Night 2, was actually a minute and 28 seconds. I don't know how that was faster than 4-6, because 4-6 at the minute 29 is flying. It's absolutely amazing. And even if you play some of these other nights, I mean, you're pretty much sub two minutes for every single one of these, which isn't bad at all. So, I mean, you really can't lose. Play whatever night that is going to work out best for you because these rewards and these times are actually still really good no matter what you're going to do. But if you have an amazing OP team, then 5-2 is should be your go-to and game 4-6 is going to be your go-to as well. The other thing you want to keep in mind is the season pass because as you're completing and getting more XP from completing the games, you're earning these fun time presents, these exclusive presents. So you're just hopping along the way here. I think this is my third or fourth time through, but I mean, that's another way you can end up getting your presents. So just keep that in mind as well. Gonna be doing some more fun giveaways and I have a fun video coming for you this Friday. I'm hoping to get that out for you. And then during my live stream before the update actually happens, I'm gonna be hopping around in public servers, seeing people in there, and maybe I'll be throwing some gifts at you, some giveaways at you for those of you that are able to make it. And so if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching everyone. Hope you have a great day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.